What happens when others become victims of electric shock? If you're indoors and witness a person come into contact with low voltage electricity, do not touch that person under any circumstances. Attempt to switch the power off if possible. If you can't shut the power off, you can attempt to separate the person from the currents without touching them yourself. However, it's important to remember that metal conducts electricity and a metal object should never be used. Instead, use a non-conductive material like dry wood, rope, or a broom handle to separate and move the person away from the current. If the person has come into contact with high voltage outdoor wires, you should call 911 first, followed by the power company as soon as possible. Do not attempt to touch the person or free them from wires. How do you treat victims of electrical shock after they've been separated from the electrical source? Check for breathing and a heartbeat. If the victim is not breathing, begin mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. If the person's heart has stopped beating, you'll need someone trained to administer CPR to do so. Next, you'll want to treat the victim for shock. Keep them lying down. If the victim is unconscious, lie them down on their side to allow drainage of fluids. Make sure the person is also covered to preserve body heat, but avoid placing anything over the burn areas, as the fiber could stick to the burns. If you believe the person has injured their spine or neck, do not move them. Treat electrical burns by immersing them in cold water. Do not apply grease or oil. If the burns are severe, cut away any loose clothing and cover the burn areas with a bandage or piece of clean cloth. 